All right, it looks like there's another breakwater here. I don't see a keep out sign, so we're gonna go in through this way. No, we wanted, we wanted to take the secret ninja route. They wouldn't let us, they said no. So, all right, this looks good, coming into this breakwater. Right here is a tour boat. You can actually listen to him giving the tour, talking about the uh, oil islands in the Queen Mary. Why take the tour? You can just watch the sailboat show. Da 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 da. All right, so we're not gonna pull in here. We're gonna keep cruising until we find Steve. I really hope the audio can pick up that guy. I'm gonna get his job. Well, if you look to your left, you're gonna see a couple guys in a sailboat uh, taking pictures like they're running some kind of a tour doing a movie or something. Nerds. Steve said he is directly across from the nose of the Queen Mary. So I told him we're just now passing up the Carnival. Coming up on the, on the, on the stern end of Her Majesty's ship there. The name of this Carnival cruise ship, you can see it on the back there, which no, you probably can't. It's called the Carnival Splendor. You can uh, look it up online, because I don't know anything about it. It's big, and I'm sure it's got jacuzzis, and a zoo, and a farm, and an airport, and uh, a small island nation with really cool natives. Oh, you can hear another tour. That gentleman walking with the guitar and the red pants, that's Steve. We found him. Now we're gonna go and dock and pick him up. We are coming up here on the dock, so I'm gonna throttle down the engine a little bit. That's Steve over there in the, oh, I can't see him in the red pants with the guitar. Leon's gonna jump off with the dock line. Docking's always fun. It's controlled calamity. What's happening, sir? Are you filming us as we're filming you? Here, catch this rope. Catch this rope. You do. Catch it quick. Bam! Beautiful calamity. Since we stopped here in Shoreline Village to pick up Steve, Bagel over there, Queen Mary over there. It's a nice, pretty area, so I want to show it to you real quick. We'll take a fast little tour. There's guest docking if you come by boat or if you come by car. There's plenty of parking, parking. It's called Shoreline Village. I believe it's 450 East Shoreline Drive in Long Beach. There's Parker's Lighthouse, which is an awesome restaurant with awesome food. You can come to the Melodrama Theater and Music Hall, which I guarantee you someone in there knows how to play a banjo really well. There's clothing stores where you can buy clothing. You can rent the cool car things. If you want to take a tour on the tour boat that I've been making fun of, this is where. It's uh, $12 for adults, $6 for kids. There's art. And if you look over here, there's water and boats and the downtown and beautiful views. Even on a day like today, it's kind of overcast. It's still a gorgeous scene and Spirit Cruises, passengers wait here at Dock 9. Yes, the Shoreline Village, it is a nice place, but I'm ready to get back on the boat. Here comes Leon now. Leon, how was your trip ashore? We must be getting back to the boat. Are your land legs feeling weird? We must get back. Yes. Jam on it. now cruising past the Queen Mary. I mean, we've cruised past it a few times, but now we're not looking for Steve. <laughs> I, I took some notes off the internet here because the Queen Mary had a lot of facts on its website. It was built in 1934. It's about 150 feet longer than the Titanic, and it was built about 20 or 30 years later. But this was the big, huge boat of its time. It could carry 1,900 passengers, it had 1,100 crew, and it could go 28 knots, which is like, what, 30, 40 miles per hour? It served as a 
troop transport in World War II, Churchill rode on it three times to globe trot around the world there. Its last cruise was in 1967. It was the 1,001st time it had crossed the Atlantic in 1967 when it went from Britain to Long Beach. And on, what was it, December 11th at 10 a.m., ownership was officially transferred from British Registry, Her Majesty's Yacht, to City of Long Beach. And now it's an awesome tourist attraction. Some say it's haunted. I hope not, as we're passing by. And, uh, Go check it out, it's the Queen Mary. It's across the water from Shoreline Village, right here in Long Beach. We were just talking about how the Queen Mary has a mast. You see over there, even though she didn't have sails, they still built a mast for a lookout tower and to hoist the flag. Boats have a mast. This is the Carnival Splendor. Kind of see around our no good zoom here. The little trucks are loading bags and cargo onto the ship, a lot like the way they do at the airport going on a cruise. I think more people should travel from point A to point B on a boat. So much nicer. Planes are so stuffy. You have good air. Good air down by the water. plane in there. They had a plane in the Queen Mary? No, behind it. Oh, behind it? Yeah. What kind of plane was uh, it? Oh, in that dome what thing? What's it called? Can our viewers at home see the dome? No, it's behind the Queen Mary. It's like this Epcot Center dome. I know, it looks like the Epcot Center. Um, God, it's such a famous plan, and I cannot for the life of me remember what it's what, what did it do? Was it the uh, Spruce Goose? Yes, the Spruce Goose. Where did, it, where did that go? It ended up, I believe, moving to the Epcot Center. Oh, man, see? Spruce Goose, you could have seen it if you would have come here 10 years ago. I might be really stupid. What are you talking about? <laughs> Beautiful Long Beach. Which way am I coming? Uh, I would say go that way, because that boat. Yeah, we got a boat coming up right here. Just, yeah, keep your course. He's gonna slide in between us and this buoy. Ooh, the incoming wake. Tour boat, oh. Wake is fun, here comes that wake. Woo, look at this wake. Oh, uh, if I had a wave runner, I would just follow that boat around all day. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> so yes, our uh, season two nice boat is going to be about this size. I mean, you could have like, that could be like a floating city. Welcome to Splendorville. Why don't the uh, carnivals all year long? Mm -hmm. Why don't boats have big turn signals? Because. <laughs> well, dude, that, that, that window right there is orange. I mean, or amber. Orange. They light up a room. Like, yeah, they light up a room. Switch. It's that person's duty with the corner room right there. They have to, uh, you know, let people know when they're leaving the harbor. Since we've taken our trip to Shoreline Village, I kind of feel like we've lost some of this wind here. But I'm going to put the sails up anyway. I'm going to see what we can catch. I don't want to have to motor all the way back to Alamitos Bay. Season two boat, our big luxurious sailing yacht. Carnival schedule. Yes. All I'm gonna have to do is push a button, and little robots are gonna come out and raise the sails for me. In the meantime, this will make do. Yeah. You're hung up already, are you? Here's the sun going down on the port of Long Beach. Not much wind, so we're motoring back. We weren't able to make it to the port. Oh well, it was still a pretty day. I gotta get a second memory card, I'm running out of memory here. But here's some barges that are parked, ready to, I guess, bring goods into the port. Now what you see over here in the sunset, this is just the port of Long Beach. This is not the port of Los Angeles. The port of Los Angeles is on the other side and we will have to go there on another day.